down here. Okay, uh, getting ready for another uh, not live stream, recording me a video. Um, <clears throat> okay, this is Cam One on SM58, and I tried something that I might want to do more often. Um, I left uh, SM58 muted, my Cox muted, until after I switched to Cam One, and then that's what you see me reaching down there doing was unmuting it. Uh, I just don't know how long it takes for if it's going to cut off my words and stuff how long it takes to actually start working that's what I was interested in and then cam 2 pointed at the monitor cams 1 and 2 and then 1 in desktop 2 in desktop go to the desktop here's the video I'm recording right now and it's not responding well is it R-Sync is running. Uh, Lucky Backup is running right now in R-Sync. Lucky Backup is a graphic user interface to run R-Sync. So R-Sync does the actually syncing. And uh, <clears throat> it works this machine really hard. It doesn't look like it's working it that hard. It doesn't show a lot of memory. It doesn't show a heck of a lot of CPU. It does show, you know, some pretty decent activity, but it's not anything like, uh, uh, for instance, OBS 22%. So what else is Mount NTFS uses 6% while uh, Lucky Back was running. Pulse Audio, since I'm recording a video, is working it a little bit. So uh, I've never have understood why it does. You know why Lucky Backup or Rsync works the machine so hard, but uh, it does. Oh, it's finishing right now. There you go. So now I'll be good. I just got there rebooting the machine to make sure that it wasn't tired because I've had it on for several hours. Watched some videos and stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and try the uh, lapel mic. Let's see, I just switched it to... I changed the shortcut to uh, Control 2 because I keep wanting to hit that because I see a 2 down there, Mike Ox 2. It just makes me want to hit that. Even though, you know, I've been using Cam 2 on it, uh, Control 2, I'm not planning on using... Uh, plugging the mic into uh, cam too anytime I thought let's try that because I keep kind of flustering and I'm like I kept going earlier when I first started up where is it I didn't think I was like I know I know control 4 is a you know 58 and I was like is it 1 2 3 just you know because my mind was foggy because I you know I know ever since I started doing this with setting up these controls I had I had F3 for cam 3 and then Control three, then I did Control two for Cam two, and then to just starting setting up audio uh, for Cam one on Control one. Uh, if I decide to start using audio on Control two, that'll throw everything my my system off, and so that's why I did it on Control five because that was just the next number in in the order, and I thought it would. I thought, well, even though it has a two on there, I probably will just do it by memory. But my mind, I, I'm constantly looking at my preview, and it seems logical. So anyway, there's Cam two on the uh, lapel. Now the lapel's not on one of the phones. Now it's directly plugged into the computer with uh, using uh, my USB sound card. <clears throat> one of my, I have two of them. They're identical brands, and they're they're not identical actually. They do look a little different, but they're the same brand. <laughs> Bought them several years ago now when they were two dollars on sale somewhere and uh now you don't find them for that <clears throat> you did at that time you could find them for that you could find them anywhere from two to fifteen dollars at the time depending on where you looked you know now i ha i've looked a couple of times just curiosity and i saw them i think six to fifteen or six. actually i think sometimes you see the same some of them have different brands on them but um you know you might see them 25 bucks it's still the same you can tell by looking at it, it's the same thing, you know, made by the same company, most likely. It looks so much the same, you know. But anyway, um, and even if the covering, you know, the plastic cover looks different than the chips and everything used inside, it's pretty common, yeah. So anyway, and then Cam 2, and uh, Cam's 1 and 2, 1 and desktop, 2 and desktop. And we'll go back to the desktop and look around. I'm not going to be doing any, you know, the scope or other thing. Tablet, I'm not going to be. I don't plan on using it very often anymore because it work well. I don't know why. Um, it, um, and we'll switch back to the SM58. Yeah, that's pretty easy. 
Uh, well, it's always pretty easy whenever I got in my head where to go and what to do. <coughs> but uh, <coughs> uh, the, uh, the odd thing is, is the uh, the 10 inch tablet, it's a it's an eight core with four gig of RAM, really cool tablet. Uh, and it should, I haven't checked recently. I don't know if I ever did really. I, well, I could just do speed tests on its internet, but uh, I've done that on the phones. But uh, I don't, I would expect since it's quite a bit newer than the phones, it would have a little bit better or fa maybe faster chip than, uh, you know, Ethernet chip than the, uh, I mean, Wi Fi chip than the phones do. But uh, it is an 8 megapixel camera. Um, and I've tried running it on the full quality on an IP webcam, the app I use uh, for streaming VLC streams uh, over my Wi-Fi so that I can pick them up on OBS Studio. I've tried using full full um, quality. That's what the settings are in there, or half quality. And but at 720p, I'm not trying to do 1080p. They'll they'll all do 1080p, but the stream, the network can't handle it. And it, don't believe it's my routers. I've tried it on two different routers. Same problems uh, that are both gigabit routers. The, uh, the TP-Link, the older one, had 750 megabit uh, Wi-Fi max, I believe. And then the uh, one I'm using now, the D-Link, is 1,200 megabit Wi-Fi on the max end of it. Of course, nothing I've got is anywhere close to that. The uh, Wi-Fi chips in the phones, the most I've ever seen is about 75 megabits out of them. They generally they can run anywhere from 15 to you know 75. They seem to settle in around 35 to 45. Uh, and the Wi-Fi speeds constantly change. I've seen that um, because of you know. But I think it's because of changing conditions with ra other radio interference. Other everything that's radio can interfere with everything else that's radio. You know, whatever's the strongest signal can walk on the other. And of course, when the sun's out, then you've got. Uh, you can have the sun, <clears throat> some radiation causing trouble, uh, sunspots, and all those sort of things. But anyway, um, I'm kind of su surprised that the uh, tablet. I thought, well, you know, just look, these are five megapixel cameras in the phones, and they do. They they only do about two megapixels on the video and that camera I've forgotten what it was but it's an eight megapixel total for like still shots and so the I figured the the uh, video is somewhere around five megapixels and that's more data you know uh, but what it does is it works just great at the beginning just fine and then I have ten or to twenty I'm not quite sure because I don't sit there I'm making a video I'm not counting down you know ten to twenty minutes thirty minutes in. I've seen, well, the last couple of days I tried to pay attention. It was only about 10 minutes, and the next thing you know, it's getting so far behind, I can't use It's no good. You know, it's no use. I'm trying to tell what's going on when I reboot a machine and stuff, and, you know, I switch off of it before I ever, uh, I'm, what I'm talking about, and I get done, and I switch back to the desktop, and it just now started really showing that it's booted up, you know. So, um it's like a minute behind is what I'm trying to say. 30 seconds to a minute behind. Um, so, and these phones do that too, but they'll just fluctuate. You Sometimes you can, uh, but they last a lot longer is what I'm trying to say. Uh, and usually they, if, if they're working good, like they're working fairly good now, I can wave and I can see it um, within a reasonable amount of time. Um they should last an hour or two at least before they start jacking up where I really see it and notice it. So, um, that's the end of that. Let me do the music out and see if everything seems to be ready to start recording.